Nintendo wants to go and make something that's a lot like Loot Crate. So imagine Loot Crate, but with nothing but Nintendo stuff. So all their iconic characters and franchises and all the other fucking happy horseshit in the world of Nintendo. Which I always wanted one of those signs. They always look badass. But anyway, so they want to go and make that into a thing. And I'm actually all for that. I've always looked at Loot Crate as being completely and utterly fucking useless. Nine times out of ten, they covered the entire fucking spectrum of pop culture, so you never know what you're going to get inside one of these boxes, and every so often you'll find one decent thing out of everything else that's just shoved inside of here, which typically is just like knickknacks and shit that's going to sit inside of a fucking bargain bin somewhere at like Spencer's or Hot Topic or some kind of crap, and the feigned expressions of interest on all the people unboxing them like, wow, I got this thing. Like, motherfucker, you don't even know what it is, let alone give a shit, so don't fucking act like it. They, they fucking suck. That That's the entire point to it. And all the time, I'm just like, man, why can't they just make a good thing? Because the idea works really well. It's just that the piss poor execution ends up making it really fucking laughably bad. But a Nintendo themed one, I could get on board with that a whole lot more. I mean, shit, on these shelves here, I've got more Nintendo knickknacks, doodads, figures, statues, whatever the fuck that I know what to do with. I mean, everywhere. Look at Mario and Yoshi bobbleheads. Yoshi bobbles all the time just for me doing shit. Look at him bobble. He's just like, fuck yeah, I'm actually all for this shit. Yeah, that, that's that's fine. So, let's see. Got the little squishy Donkey Kong right there. He's squishy. See? Squishes. He squishes because he does that. This stuff from when I was a kid. McDonald's? Anybody old enough to actually remember that? He, he actually bounces from Super Mario Brothers 3. Shy Guy's over there, Toad's over there, another Yoshi's over there, but Bomb's right there. Uh, question Mark Block is down there. A shitload of Amiibo figures are up there. Fucking shitloads. And then uh, Club Nintendo little statue and all that other stuff. But point being is that, yeah, I, I actually like a lot of Nintendo themed stuff just because it's kind of cool. So they're talking about having figures and, and shirts and whatever the hell else they decide to go and include in something like this. And I'm absolutely fine with that. But the question is whether or not something like this will actually be successful. And it's interesting because I remembered a while ago, Club Nintendo went and shut down, but they said that they planned on going and replacing that service with something new. I think that Club Nintendo shutting down was so that they could make way for this. Because they had seen, you know, there's Arcade Block, there's Loot Crate, there's uh, comic book themed ones, horror movie themed ones. All sorts of different types of crates, I guess we're gonna go and fucking call them, out there. So they could call this the N-Block or the N-Crate or Nintendo Crate or fucking what, whatever it is that they're gonna go and call this shit. But I think that this idea could be pretty damn cool whether or not it's going to warrant the money for it. Because you figure you have to do the whole subscription service thing, so you're paying for like three months, six months, an entire year. And however much money that is, I'd have to see one of these first and foremost to decide whether or not okay I'll actually go and dive in and, and, and try it out because you always worry that you're going to get this and they send you like let's see what is it those uh the little fucking connects figures that have some of the Nintendo characters so you get that and then that's essentially it and, and you get some other shit that you just don't give a fuck about I mean it can't happen even if it's all Nintendo themed even the most die hard Nintendo fans can eventually get handed some stuff that they just don't give a fuck about you know, it, I mean, I think it would be cool if they had started repurposing all sorts of old school stuff that they used to have and start remaking it and bringing it back. Like, I would shit bricks if I opened one up and they had a brand new version of the Super Mario Brothers slash Legend of Zelda cereal inside of it. I'm talking new, not old, because I don't feel like breaking my teeth on fucking a cereal that's basically as hard as concrete. So that would suck. And also my dentist would be like, what the fuck were you thinking? Like, I don't know, it just looked good. So it, not, nothing like that, but there's a lot of shit that they could do with this. I just hope that it'll be awesome. Ah, ah, ah. They didn't announce a release date or anything like that, just the idea is floating around right now. But it does make sense that this will be replacing Club Nintendo, which I'm still kind of bummed out that that just went, went the way of the Dodo and we're never going to fucking see it again. So, you know, Club Nintendo, we fucking miss you, man! But what, is this something that any of you out there would give a shit? I know that anybody who's like automatically, I fucking hate Nintendo! So, no! Well, I mean, we already figured that you wouldn't be interested in something like that. Unless you're like weirdly masochistic whenever it comes to entertainment fields and shit. You're like, you know what, everything I really dislike, I just keep buying so I can bitch about it! <laughs> 
So if anything, they're thanking you for emptying out your wallet, but they're just really confused by the way that you act. So yeah, there's there's stuff like that. Like just imagine if they start including a random amiibo inside all these. I mean, motherfuckers are basically like trying to shank shank people just so that they can get a hold of something. Like yo, fucking Rosalina. <laughs> And then they run off with the Rosalina, because, you know, not going to be getting that shit back. Like, oh, you have a nest! Ah! And they go after them and stuff, start beating them down with a pipe. Made me like a warp pipe from Super Mario Brothers. Got to keep the theme. So, yeah. Idea behind this? Oh, pricing! Naturally, be very important. If they could go and keep on the same price point as everybody else, or even go lower than that, that might help them. And especially, you know, if... Uh, I, I don't know, maybe they could actually keep with like the Nintendo points and you put those towards, you collect a whole bunch of those and then you can get a free couple months of service out of that. That'd be kind of neat, maybe, possibly. I don't know, I'm just thinking of ideas off the top of my head here, trying to come up with some kind of shit that might make this seem a little more awesome. But it blows down to price and what the hell they're going to include inside the box, but it's all Nintendo themed. And who knows, I mean, considering the fact that Nintendo's hooked up with the likes of Sega, Namco Bandai, Square Enix, Capcom, a whole bunch of other companies, to produce different things. Just imagine if they go to them and they say, hey, why don't you bring in a couple of your things and we'll include them as like a special surprise gift. Cause you know, just imagine you, you get some shit like here. Oh my God, fucking Mega Man and Proto Man figures. Well, yes, that sounds absolutely fantastic. Cause you know damn well Capcom ain't gonna do that shit on their own. It, it, Capcom's big enough to be able to do that cause their catalog's fucking huge, but still, yeah. Ah, <sighs> Nintendo Loot Crate, yeah. And, and, and fucking, the people who end up getting loot are like, Oh my god, I got this Splatoon lube. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna be a squid instead of a kid, right? Oh. Yeah, that's good stuff, right? And, and, and toilet paper. Ah, ah, yeah, it's, uh... Alright, I'm getting an idea. So, yeah, there's... <laughs> just seeing half those fucking unboxings is always... It, it's always funny. Like, I don't know what this is! All right, next, see what the fuck this is. Who, who the fuck is, is this? Is this Doctor Who? I can't t Game of Thrones? No, it's, um... Who? I, I'm not, I'm not sure. I have a shirt, though! You know, just seeing that shit is fucking funny. So, yeah. With Nintendo, at least everybody know who the fuck all the characters are, unless they bust out some really obscure shit, like Hotel Dusk, or Devil World, or uh, Detective Club, because people are like, what the fuck are those? That's like obscure shit right there for OG Nintendo fans and just people who pay attention to all the stuff. Hotel Dusk is seriously amazing. People ought to go and check that out. Really good series. Sucks we didn't get the sequel though here. Have to import that. By the way, babbling and all that shit. So, opinions, thoughts, feelings, comment box, you already know what to do. And as always, nerds, nerdettes, and gamers game the fuck on.